Let's take you live to Milwaukee, where day three of the Republican National Convention is underway. Vice President nominee J.D. Vance will deliver a speech in just a few hours. Five on your side, political editor Mark Maxwell is at the RNC in Milwaukee tonight, where he's been talking to delegates from Missouri and Illinois. Mark. Yeah, hey Mike and Ann, we're here on the floor of the RNC where really anything can happen in a moment's notice. It can go from a lively concert type feel to a sobering speech. We're seeing all that behind the Illinois delegation here. You see the room packed here. Basically, delegates here have already done their heavy lifting. On night one, they nominated President Trump. Now they're essentially spectators waiting to see what the DNC looks like in one month. I want to bring you over here to Liz. Liz is from Illinois. We've been talking with her. Liz, it's good to see you from Springfield. Yes. Uh, what are you looking to hear from J.D. Vance tonight? I'm really excited. I am so excited. This was my first pick. So when they announced that it was going to be him, I was very, very happy. Well, I expect for tonight, I expect that he's going to touch on uh, some of the things that he's probably very good about, which is the military, strengthening the military, uh, him being a former Marine. Uh, I think that he's going to bring a lot of energy back into the military, which means he's also going to bring a lot of national pride back into the country. Uh, you're a Republican. I get that. You're with Donald Trump. Democratic delegates who are in a position like yours have to go to a convention soon, and they have a question. Do they back Biden? Do they ditch Biden? What do you think that question is like for a delegate? What do they have to consider going into their convention? Well, the fact that he is not, he's not cognitively functioning right now. This has been demonstrated on national TV. I don't think this is something that anybody can deny anymore. I think that by denying it, it is, uh, it's crazy. And we're going to hear more of that kind of message, Liz. Thanks for joining us here. But we'll have a recap for you tonight at 10 o'clock after J.D. Vance takes the stage here. Live in Milwaukee, Mark Maxwell, 5 on your side.